Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for C2H2, which is acetylene or ethyne. Either name is the same same thing. So here we go. We've got um, okay, uh, C2H2. So that's going to give us uh, two carbons, each with four valence electrons, plus uh, two hydrogens, each with one valence electron, for a total of ten valence electrons alright so we know that hydrogens cannot be central atoms in compounds because they can only have one bond so those are going to have to be on the outside so here's how we're going to end up drawing this structure it's going to be have an H on the outside two internal carbons and then the following hydrogen at the end single bond the hydrogens because that's all they can hold because they only have the 1s subshell only two electrons one bond and that, that's two four electrons out of our ten total. So we have to have six more. And we, we're going to go ahead and triple bond the internal carbons here. So that's one, two, three, four, five total bonds, which means ten total electrons. So this should be the right structure. So let's go ahead and check the uh, formal charges. So the formal charges on the carbons. And notice that each carbon has the same setup as a triple bond and a single bond. So the, the formal charges should be the same for each one that's going to be a uh, four valence brought in minus one two three four bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for a total a formal charge of zero and we can now check the formal charges on the hydrogens which is going to be one electron brought in minus one bond for each hydrogen minus zero non-bonding for a formal charge of zero if you add that up it gets you zero which is what we're looking for because this is a non-charged particle. All right. Uh, now we can talk about shape. Um, looking at each of these carbons as a central atom, they're going to be linear with, with respect to each carbon. So that's going to be a linear shape. And the shapes are kind of hard to talk about in terms of compounds that have multiple centers. But in this case, it's going to be a, a linear uh, shape. Okay, And that means that the bond angles are going to be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, um, for both of these carbons, the hybridization is going to be sp hybrid for for the hybrid orbitals because each carbon has one, two bonding sites. So that means sp, 1s, 1p um, orbitals. So sp hybrid, and um, the overall polarity of this compound is going to end up being non-polar because it's a mirror f image of each other. These carbons cancel out each other and so the, the, these hydrogens. That's going to be uh, pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, thanks for watching.